Umar radiallahu anhu says, when Abu Bakr became Khalifa, this is extremely beautiful by the way. I want you to actually put yourself in Medina right now. You live there, Abu Bakr is the Khalifa. He leads the Salah, he leads the prayer. He said every day after Fajr, Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu would go in an opposite direction of his house and he would go deep into the desert. It was very curious, right? what does he do out there? So Umar radiallahu anhu said, I'd watch him every single day, go to Salat al-Fajr and then Abu Bakr does not return home, he just walks far away into the desert. So he said, every day I'd wonder, ila aina yakhruj, where does he go, where does he go, where does he go? He said, one day I said to myself, la atba'ana, that's it, I'm gonna go follow him and find out what he's doing. I just can't get over this curiosity of mine. So Umar radiallahu anhu said, I kept the pace from him to where he was at the end of my eyesight, meaning I, I walked just as far away to where I could still see him. And then he said, I saw him go into this beat up old house. So Umar radiallahu anhu said, I quickly went and I hid behind. And he said, he spent a long time in there. It wasn't like a short amount of time. He spent a long time until after the sun was up, meaning it was getting hot. This is after Fajr, this is way past Duha, way past sunrise, and it got hot. And then Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu left the home and he made his way back to Medina. He said, this is way out of the city of Medina now. This isn't even the city of Medina right now. Way out of the city of Medina. So Umar radiallahu anhu said, I waited until I could no longer see him, meaning he made his way back to Medina. And Umar radiallahu anhu said, I knocked on the door, okay? And he said, this woman opened the door. She was elderly, she was frail, she was blind, and there were a bunch of little kids running around, okay? So I said to her, As-salamu alayki, ma sha'nukum ya amatullah. I said, peace be on to you. What is your situation, O servant of Allah? And she said that I am a blind woman, and I have no one to take care of me, and I also have these orphans with me. You know, and the implication, Allahu Alam, her kids died, left behind, these are her grandchildren, or these were orphans. Somehow, it's her, and it's some orphan children. And she says, I have no one to take care of me, and these orphans. Umar radiallahu anhu said, who is that visitor that comes to you every single day? The answer, she says, I don't know who he is. لا يذكر لي اسمه أبدا. He never once shared his name with me. <laughs> He never bothered to tell me his name. Umar radiallahu anhu said, well, what does he do? Qalat jazahullah khair. She said, may Allah reward him. Every morning he comes. Listen, by the way, she details it. She says, he cleans my home. He washes our clothes. He grinds our wheat. He bakes our bread. He cooks our breakfast. And then he leaves. Subhanallah, think about that. If this was the only narration we had about Abu Bakr, it's incredible. <laughs> Seriously, the leader, the head of the Ummah, the Khalifa, the most important man in the Ummah right now, with his station, with his status, and he goes out every morning to this house and he doesn't even tell the woman what his name is. He's just, just consider me a secret fa'al khair, right? Just some good doer. Washes the clothes, cleans the house, grinds the wheat, bakes the bread, cooks the breakfast, and then makes his way back to govern the Ummah. That is absolutely incredible. Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu says, every single day, <laughs> Like, is this really what he does every single day? She said, every day, may Allah bless him. Umar radiallahu anhu said, do you pay him anything? She said, nothing. Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu started to cry and he said, at'abta al-khulafa ba'daka ya Abu Bakr. You have exhausted every successor of yours, oh Abu Bakr. You've exhausted us. Anyone that comes after you is exhausted. <laughs> Because this is a standard that is impossible for us to meet. A gem here, by the way, very important. Can you imagine how many deeds of Abu Bakr that history has never recorded? <laughs> you know, the books of the Fada'il, the virtues of Abu Bakr, the things that he used to do. Can you imagine how many of those secrets he actually managed to hide? And why did he not think of himself too good to still do that thing? And by the way, a lesson for all of us. If you're someone who does some khayr that everyone knows about, you better have some khayr that only Allah knows about. Right? You better have some khayr that only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows about. And let it be an involved khayr too, okay? An involved form of good. Not just a secret charity, but this is something that, that has a spiritual reminder and effect on him too, right? Going and visiting this elderly woman and her orphans every single day and doing those things.